Okay, hello everybody, I'm back once again. God still speak through visions and dreams, yes he does. Uh, I want to talk to you briefly some more about uh, uh, some things you may be uh, dealing with again, still dealing with in your sleep. Uh, I uh, I want to talk to you some more about the if you're still having encounters or problems with uh, the succubus and incubus. Uh, I want to give you some pointers on how to get rid of some of them, how to get rid of them. Um, what I want to do. is um, I want to remind you something um, I have been dealing with these entities for a long time many years many years and some of them were very easy to get rid of just by I would just speak to them and they would leave I would curse some of them I would pronounce curses on them uh, I will quote the word. Uh, there were just a number of things I would do. I would remind them of the word of God. Uh, now I'm talking about the incubus and the succubus. For those of you who are still having problems with these, uh, still having these type of problems. Now for you all that are not having these problems, you don't, you don't have, uh, you're not bothered with any of this. Uh, Maybe this video is not for you, okay? But for all of you all that are, I want to give you some more information on uh, how to deal with these things and how to get rid of them. Now, and secondly, uh, there are a lot of people, there are a lot of ministers, rather, a lot of ministers uh, who can, uh, who, who have a lot of insight on this, and they're, on, they're all through, all on YouTube and Facebook uh, that can also give you some information on how to get rid of your succubus or, inc or incubus that has been bothering you. Okay, now I have gotten rid of a lot of them. Okay, some of them was very easy to get rid of. Some of them wasn't. wasn't. Uh, I know there were some... Uh, uh, well, there were there are just more. There are some succubus that are just more experienced than the others, and they, a lot of them are older. They look older, and they, um, they look. Some of them look middle age. You know, if we were to judge it, uh, graded by our age, it would look anywhere from mid forties to early sixties. Some of them, they're they're more experienced, and they're kind of hard to get. Uh, they're kind of hard to get rid of. Now, what I found out, if you got a succubus or an incubus that's bothering you, you're going to have to, and you can't get rid of it, you're going to have to take some time, some really quality time, to uh, seek God. Okay? You're going to take some quality time to seek God. Okay? You may not be able, okay, you can't, you can't be preoccupied with lots of other things and expect to hear from God. Okay? Uh, there were some encounters I had that really just shocked me. I mean, I was just totally shocked what happened in the night between me and those people. And it shocked me, so I, I, was, just, I was just dumbfounded. I didn't have words to speak. But I noticed when I got really quiet in my spirit, even in my mind, I got quiet. I even got out of the television, the internet, whatever that was capturing my attention. I got away from all that stuff, even people. And I waited for God to speak. He would, he, he would speak every time. And he would tell me just what to do to get rid of them. I know some of you might remember some of my stories uh, how uh, some of them was difficult to get rid of and God told me just how to do it. But anyway, this last time here, just here recently, I was dealing with 
what I believe God explained to me he called the queen succubus. There was, there was a queen succubus that had been in my life for a very long time. He called her the queen succubus. She's known by many as um, uh, the spiritual wife, a spiritual wife. Or there, there are king succubus or spiritual husbands. And during this time, there was somebody wrote me and asked me how to get rid of a, a succubus that had been around for a long time. And at that moment, he asked me, I was trying to get rid of one myself. So but anyway, I sent him a video, and hopefully I believe that helped him. I hope. I hope it helped him. But uh, there are a lot of other videos and people that can help you get rid of these things. But now this particular, uh, this queen succubus I was dealing with, uh, it took me a long time to get rid of her. Uh, she would always masquerade as my wife in my sleep. And the uh, crazy thing about it, uh, once I would go to sleep, once I would go to sleep, uh, it was like I was, I would just be in her world. And I would be acting as her husband and she would be acting as my wife. And we would have, we would have children. Uh, we would, I would be in her world, in her city, in her house or our house. It was like, I, it was like that was my other life. Okay, it was like that was my other life. When I laid down at night, I would enter into another whole life, new life. But this particular, this queen succubus, and God talked to me about her a long time ago. But I thought, then I thought it was just my imagination. I was just imagining something. But looking back now, I can see that it was God talking to me about her. But she was very difficult to get rid of. And finally, I noticed that she was causing me a lot of mental anguish, a lot of mental frustration, a lot, especially in my sleep. And, um, you know, she would do things like, you know, when I was with her, when I was with her in this other world or wherever this was, when I lay down and go to sleep, she would do things that would just cause me a lot of mental anguish, you know, uh, make me lose my cars, financial problems, marital problems, and it would just go on and on. There would just be constant mental anguish all the time. And so uh, anyway, I got to the point where I realized, I said, I, I got to get rid of this, whatever this is. So I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna give you some pointers on, if you got one that's hard to get rid of, the first thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to pull yourself aside from the mundane things of life and all the other distractions and you're gonna have to zero in and you have to get close to God, close to the Lord, okay? Because he can show you just how to get rid of them. A lot of times it's something very simple you know, sometimes it's very, something very simple. It's not nothing. It's not anything difficult. But anyway, what I had to do is I had to um, I had to pull away. I had to get away, and I had to get close close to God. And uh, the next thing I had to do, I had to ask Him to put me on a fast, because you know the Bible said these kind don't come out except through fasting and prayer. So there's some spirits you're not going to uproot unless you if you don't fast. Okay. And you can't say, well, I'm going to fast one day or two days and then quit. No, you can't do that. You have to go the whole entire duration of the fast as long as God, as long as he uh, tell you to fast. And you also do the kind of fast that he wants you to do. He may not want you to go without food all day. Okay. He just may want you to eat breakfast and then don't eat anything else the rest of the day. Or he may want you to skip breakfast and just eat dinner in the evening. Or he just may want you to eat a small lunch. Or he may want you to just fast every other day. Eat every other day and fast it. You know, you have to get with God and see what kind of fast he wants you to go on. Okay? But you, if you got one you can't get rid of, you're going to have to fast it. One, you're going to have to seek God. So I remember years ago when God first started uh, teaching me how to 
deal with and destroy the succubus, one of the things he did teach me is that there will be one or two that you're going to have to seek me. You're going to have to seek me about. And sure enough, I've had to do that. Okay, I've had to get away from worldly things. And I have to, I have to seek the Lord to find out, Lord, what do I need to do to get this spirit out of my sleep? And so one thing he had me to do, he had me to uh, fast. And he gave me a particular fast. I didn't just fast. I didn't just come up with the kind of the kind of fast I wanted on my own. He gave me a particular fast, and I had to stick with that fast. Okay, it's going to be pretty hard to fast too if you are in participating in so many other worldly things. Also, okay, with people, conversations with people, going out, watching too much television, you're really going to have to get this focus. Okay, you got to you're going to have to zero in on your target. I found out a reason why a lot of times we can't get rid of these succubus and incubus because we have not zeroed in. We have not honed in on our target. Okay, and the way you hone in or zero in on that bullseye is you is you fast. You fast and you get away from you get away from all the other mundane earthly things that you're involved with. I know you got to go to work. You got to uh, wash dishes. You got to cook and all that. But the things you don't have to be involved in, don't get involved in. Don't participate in. Okay? And so, uh, you're going to have to target target your, uh, you're going to have to hit your target. And the way you do that, you're going to have to fast. You might have to fast television, fast radio, fast music for a while, or just do Christian music or gospel music or whatever. Then the next thing, the next thing, you're gonna to have to watch your words, you're gonna to have to watch what you say, okay? The word of God will destroy these spirits. The word of God will destroy them. I know you probably, if you look at some of my other videos, I give you some scriptures, things to say, you know, touch not my, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. That is a law. So you have to understand something. You are the law. You are the law. You were made in the image and likeness of God. The words you speak is like God to them. They know that. But see, they know you don't know that. But they know that. So they know that your words are super powerful. And what you, the Bible said, death and life is in the power of the tongue. Your tongue has power. And in that power is death and life. Okay? These spirits, they know that. But they don't want you to know that or believe it. So you got to be careful about what you say. You got to be careful. Oh man, I can't get rid of this succubus. Man, I don't know what to do. Yeah, you do know what to do. Say, I know what to do. I know all things. Christ said, I have the mind of Christ. Okay, and I'm going to destroy you. That's what you tell me. I'm going to destroy you. I'm going to give up. Listen, I'm going to. I'm never going to give up. Listen, don't ever give up. Be relentless. Don't give up. See, because see, they they will fight against you. They will resist you for a while, and you might get tired. But don't give up. Now, I hope I'm not faced with this again, that again, too soon, because that, that's a challenge when you are tired and, you, and you're and you not to give up. That is a challenge. That is a challenge. But you're going to have to stay in the fight. You're going to have to keep up, okay? Keep it up. Uh, you might get tired sometimes, but listen, but when you get tired, they're getting weaker, okay? They're getting weaker. Don't let them fool you. They're, they're trying to make you think that they're not giving, up, giving in, but they are. Uh, I know I used to, whenever I used to speak against these spirits, when they would confront me, I used to, whenever I speak against a spirit, I get these really cold chills, okay? And that used to scare me, and I used to say, man, I, I, I didn't want to speak no more after that, you know? But God let me know, no, when you get those cold chills, you just hit that target, okay? Now, that's the way it worked with me. Maybe with you, it might be something else. Maybe you may not feel anything. Maybe you may feel some joy when you hit your target. Maybe you may uh, hear bells ringing. I don't know. Maybe you just may have a knowing within yourself. Some people just have a knowing. Okay, I don't know. But there will be some indication usually that you hit your target. And when you hit that target, keep hitting it. Okay? And so... Wow, this, this is amazing. Now, now what I'm about to share with you all, 
I'm not saying that you should experience this like I experienced it, but I'm just letting you know that God over the many years, he'll allow me to look into the spiritual realm or into the spirit world and he'll allow me to see a lot of things and he's allowed me to see what is going on. He has allowed me to see the spiritual warfare that goes on and how spirits are destroyed. They are, they can be destroyed, okay? Now I know we say, take the sword of the, the sword of the spirit with the word of God. You must speak the word of God to destroy them. But yeah, but you know, God allowed me to see, okay, once you speak that word to them, what happens to them? You want me to tell you what happens to them? Whatever you says, that's what happens to them. Once you're on your target now, you got to hit that target. Whatever you say, because your death and life, your tongue has power. Okay? Whatever you say is it's in a line in accordance with the word of God, that's what happens to them. You know, for years I used to hear the Christians, the saints, the old saints say, I bind you, devil. I bind you in the name of Jesus. I found out that those, dev those spirits and those devils, they are actually bound. I saw that. I saw them actually become bound. They would be, it was like a chain or rope would wrap around them tight and they would be just like this. They couldn't move. And guess what? They stay like that. If you say, hey, I cast you into the pit. Now there are some spirits, they're not assigned to the pit yet. Okay, there are some of them, they're not assigned. But speak it anyway, the time will come when they will be. Okay. But there are some you can't you can't assign them to a pit yet, but you can say other things like you're a lie, okay. And when you say when you call them a lie, they become a lie. Okay, I saw I saw one in one case, uh, a spirit. Uh, I, when I, I obeyed the word, I, I said, "Devil, Satan, you are a liar," and he, immediately he was a huge spirit. But when I said that, immediately he shrunk down to the size of a mouse, smaller. And he and he took off running. There was nothing he could do to me. Your words are very super powerful. Okay, whatever you call them, that's what they are. You remember the, some good examples that you can take from the Bible is when David went out to meet the giant. I mean, look at this. See, David used his words first. To, even though the giant tried to curse David, but you can't curse God's people. But David opened his mouth and cursed him, and what David said, that's what that's what happened to his enemy. Okay? So your words are super powerful. Seek God first. If there's a spirit that is bothering you, okay, now a lot of people, they got spirits bothering them, and they got all kind of different demonic posters in the house. They got relics, uh, uh, all kind of different images and little, what you call those, uh, little statues and whatnot in the house. They got, they got all kind of, they got people in their lives that shouldn't be in their lives. They're watching things on television, video games, they should, and they 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 are they are harassed by demons and they wonder why. Okay, you got to clean up a lot of stuff that's in your life. You got to get a lot of stuff out of your life. Okay, uh, video games and movies and people, some people even words that you speak okay i mean you can get these things out of your life uh see some of us we can't go to africa where those powerful prophets and preachers are i mean we just don't have them here okay we have a few of them here that hold the ground pretty good but we can't go to africa where the superpower saints are at so we have to here we have to believe god for ourselves okay we have to believe God and pray for each other ourselves. And so you're going to have to clean up your life. Clean up your life. Uh, even the music you listen to. Don't listen to a lot of the music that the world is putting out there. Okay? So you are super powerful, but he don't want you to know that. Okay? And now getting back to what I was saying now, a lot of, um, a lot of things, God allowed me to see a lot of things that is going on in the spirit world. And in the spiritual world, believe me, there is much warring going on, okay? You fight all the time. You just don't know it. The only thing you know is that uh, you feel different or you feel you moody or you feel different or you 
you're feeling sad or you're feeling depressed or you feeling gloomy or you okay and then when you're feeling happy you're feeling great you just want to battle in the spiritual realm you just don't know it though you don't know it but you just want to battle okay and when you're feeling gloomy and depressed you're being beat okay you being you being beaten you being punished in some kind of way god is not doing it but you are in battle you're fighting against spirits okay you're fighting against these demons in in the spiritual realm and god allowed me to see this listen when you praise god when you praise god with singing instruments you are destroying your enemy you are destroying your enemy you're just you listen when you when you are praising god and beating those drums and and playing those guitars in church, you are you are you are you're like a tornado or a hurricane destroying their entire city. They got cities. They got cities just like we do. They got homes, they got children, they got these are other worlds, other dimensions. And when you do that, you're destroying their world just like they come here and destroy ours with hurricanes and earthquakes. Well we do the same thing to them. This is why it's so important to praise God. You destroy your enemy. Okay, so um, getting back to what I was saying, I had to seek God to get rid of this particular subject because she she calls me a lot of mental anguish. You know, in 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 my sleep at night, you know, she would do things like she would do things like she would have me walk. I mean, this was like a, just a family. Now I was with her. My, we had kids. All this and and I, and again. A lot of people say, well, you're just dreaming. Well, if that's the way you feel, this video is not for you. I'm talking to people who actually experience this stuff. And they know what I'm talking about. Okay? So I would be with be with her as my wife. She would always masquerade as my wife. And I would think she's my wife. And lots of times she would, I would hear her call, see what they would do sometimes. They, what they do sometimes, they come here while I'm laying in my bed here, and they would call me by my name as with with the voice of my wife so I, i'm in between sleep and awake and i'm kind of in a mesmerized state and so i'm thinking this that's my wife and so i drift off into this other realm with her so i'm thinking it's my wife all the time but anyway i would i would she would do things like make me walk to the store Okay, and this is in her world. And I get all the way down the street, and I realize, why am I walking? I got cars. And I come back and say, why, why am I walking? And she say, I sold your car. I gave my car, I gave your car to my sister. I gave your car to my mom. And that would cause me so much frustration in my sleep. I, I could feel this in my sleep. See, these spirits are trying to destroy you in your sleep. They're trying to take your life in your sleep, okay? She would do things like that. She would do things like get my car towed in. She would do things like we would go out and she would leave me standing and walk off with another man. She would do things like uh, she would sit me down and say, hey, you know what? We've been together for 20 years, but I just want to confess something. I've been cheating on you ever, ever since we've been together. And then she'd name off like 20, 30 guys. I've been cheating with you on this guy, that guy, this guy. And I'll be so furious, furious, you know, in my sleep. And just be in a rage, you know. And this is the kind of mental torment she would do all the time. And, uh, and to me, she was my wife. And there was just other little things she would do that would be just so annoying. Okay, they're so annoying and so frustrating. But I, I realized, I didn't realize, actually, I believe God told me, hey, that's a spirit, and she's called a spiritual spouse, or queen succubus. Okay, so I finally had to get rid of her, and the way I did was, one, I saw God. I had to get away from everything, everybody, and then God put me on a fast, because remember, some spirits are not coming out except through fasting. You've got to fast. And then you gotta let God pick the fast for you. You just you can't just pick a fast yourself. You gotta let him say fast. If he say fast three days with nothing, then you fast three days with nothing. And then you go next week and fast three with days with nothing. Then do that. Whatever he say do. If he say fast every other day, 
fast every other day. If he says skip breakfast <coughs> and then eat in the eat the dinner and then eat only so much, then do that. Whatever he tells you to do. If you do a fast like that, you're gonna hit your target guaranteed. But if you do a fast the way you try to fast, the way you think it, you're not gonna get it. Because she's gonna outmaneuver you every time, or he. The queen, queen succubus or the king succubus, he's going to outmaneuver you every time. But you got to do it the way God says do it. Okay, so, and then your words, again, your words are super powerful. And don't, be relentless. Don't, don't give in. Repeat the same things, the same word of God over and over and over. It's like a ramming rod hitting against the building. Eventually that building gonna give. Well, that's the way the word of God is with those spirits. Keep saying it. Uh, keep saying, touch not my anointed, do my prophet no harm. And remember, you are the law. You will sentence them to, to whatever punishment that you choose. Don't play with them now, okay? You sentence them away from you for good. Destroy them, okay? You are the law. Okay? You are a child of God. You are the royal, you are the royal priesthood. Okay? The king's word is the law. All right? So what you say, keep saying it. All right? The Lord shall deliver me from every evil work and preserve me into the coming of his heavenly kingdom. Thou shalt not commit adultery. And listen, read um, Proverbs. See, this is a strange woman the Bible talk about. Now, I know the strange woman can be a, a loose woman. It could be the woman next door. It could be, you know, a number of people, kind of people. But it all, this also includes the succubus, the strange woman in Proverbs 5. Okay, Proverbs 5. They're going to lead, they're going to take you to a dead end road. Okay? At least they're going to try to. They're going to try to. They're, by the grace of God, they will not. Okay, say that by the grace of God, they will not. Okay, we are going to make it. We're going to make it through this. Now, um, so your words are super powerful. you got to remember that. And what you say, it will happen. Death and life is in the power of the tongue. Your tongue has power. Don't give them, the Bible said, don't give no place to the devil. Don't say anything that will give them a uh, uh, a stronger grip on your life okay so now finally when I uh, I noticed I was uh, I noticed I was uh, hitting my target and for the first time I would see her I, when I would see her in my sleep you know we would en we would engage like husband and wife just like uh, always, you know, we would participate and come together and, you know, we would be out and about in the city and just whatever in the house or whatever, just like husband and wife. But this time when we were alone, she said, when I got ready to leave her this time, or, or when I got ready to wake up, because I, I don't think I, I don't think we don't never leave the spiritual realm. I don't believe the spiritual world. But when I got ready to wake up, she said, because, see, I was declaring to her, I am free. The, the Spirit of God was telling me, you are free. To do this fast, do the fast that I've given you, speak the Word of God on her, and you will be free. And so I declared my freedom from her. From her. I told her, I am free from you. I don't want you. you got to tell them, I don't want you no more. And don't give in. Don't give back in. I don't want you no more. Get out of my life. Command her. Command him to get out of my life. You've got to be tenacious about this. Okay? If you got one, you can't get rid of. Um, and so one night she told me, and I saw her, her face was really wet with tears. It was this whole face was just wet with tears. I knew then I had struck that core. Okay, I knew I had struck that target. And she told me, You are free. I said, okay. I said, but you know what? I ain't going to go by your words. I'm, I got to know I'm free. And so the next night, 
the next night, I think the same thing happened. It wasn't much, you know, she, she was, uh, her demeanor had changed and was really down. But one night, one night, uh, I felt this really powerful negative energy. That's all the best I can describe. It was like just a bunch of inner lot of energy. And it was just like like a humming, vibrating uh, energy. But it felt it didn't feel good. And I was laying there, I was in my bed. And you know, when this when I feel stuff like this, I'm just kind of anxious to know what okay, what is who is this? It don't it, it's kind of scary. But because I want, I'm so curious. I over, I overlook the fear, and I, because I want to know what's going on. Okay, so I'm laying there waiting to find out what, who is this in my room? What is this? What kind of alien or succubus or demon or whatever it is? And I lay there, and I just felt this, this, and it just kept going. But anyway. It didn't feel good, and so what I did, I, I, my, with my sixth sense, I have like a sixth sense. Even if I'm in a very dark room, I still know where everybody is, where everything is, who's there, all, everything. I can't see them with my eyes. It, it could be very dark, but the sixth sense could just pick up anything. And I know she was standing by my bed. So I reached my hand out like this, and I grabbed her by her leg, and I pulled her into the bed, and I guess she thought that things was going to be normal like it always be, but it wasn't. I grabbed her by her neck. Now, again, I'm not saying this is how it's supposed to happen with you, but I'm saying if this God allowed me to see some things that happens in the spiritual realm, and I'm just sharing this with you. And I grabbed her by her neck, and I started choking the life out of her. Okay? And as I was choking her, I said, I was saying, I hate y'all. Okay, I had to develop that in my soul, in my heart, in my spirit. I hate them. I hate you. During the day while I was awake, I had to say this. And I had to, I had to build this up in my spirit in order for me to say it when I saw her at night. Because at night when I would see her, she would to me, she would just be my wife. And I wouldn't say that. But, if, but, but during the day when you awake, whatever you say or whatever you think about them, that's what you will probably have in the, in the spiritual realm at night. Okay, so during the day I would say, I hate you. I hate you. I don't want you no more. Get out of my life. I hate you. But anyway, while I was choking her, I was choking her and I was saying, I hate you. I hate y'all. I hate you. And I began, to, I, I began to feel her neck. She was starting to loosen up, you know. And she, at first, she was really tense while I was choking her. She was resisting and really tense. But um, she started loosening up, and I could feel the muscles loosening up in her neck. She, she was giving out. She was giving out. Yeah. And while I was choking her, telling her I hate her, you know what she said? She said, I hate you too. She was just like that. She said, I hate you too. I said, good. Bye. Okay, and I choked her out. I just choked her out. Now you might say you can't kill no demon. I'm like, yeah, you kill a demon. Yes, you can. Once you go into their realm, once you go into their world, um, once you go into their world, you can kill them. Just like just like you people kill people here. People here. They, in, in those worlds, they got guns, knives, swords, bombs, bullets, fire, everything. They got everything. And you use all that stuff, the tools, water, or anything. Okay? So, but your words, the words you speak here will cause it to happen there. Okay? And the way you live here will cause it to happen there. Okay? So, but yeah. Uh... I finally got rid of her. Now, I'm speaking this by faith because I believe uh, as a result of getting rid of her, I believe I believe my finances and my 
standard of living is going to increase much better. Okay, I don't believe I'm going to be experiencing any. Uh, it's not nearly as much frustration in my marriage. Uh, mental anguish. A lot of friction in my marriage. I don't. Believe, I believe all that's gone. All of that's gone. And see, I know this. I just know this. I just know this. Okay? So, there are a lot of things that these spirits, they cause in your marriage. A lot of problems they cause in your marriage, in your life, in your finances. Okay? But I don't believe I'm going to have those problems anymore. I really don't. And I'm not speaking from here. My belief is not from here. It's from here. It's just annoying. I know I'm not. So anyway, if you, you're having a problem with a spirit that you're trying to get rid of, that's one of the ways to get rid of it. You go to God first. You see God. He'll tell you what to do. I had a, I had, I had several mature. These other succubus, they was pretty. They was mature. They were just mature women. And there was one in particular. She was hard to catch up with. Now the younger ones, I catch them immediately. The younger they are, the quicker I catch them. But this one, I, I didn't, I couldn't. It was hard for me to catch her because I didn't know she was, she was coming until the Holy Spirit. Uh, revealed it to me, He's, and I and I thought, man, I said, Lord, that's been that's been a spirit visiting me every night, and I hadn't noticed it. And I'm gonna tell you what he told me to do. He said, don't. He said, sleep on your couch tonight. Okay. That's what he told me. He didn't tell me to fast or anything like that. He said, sleep on your couch tonight, and that's how I caught that one. And she was she was hard to catch. But God will tell you just what to do, okay? One time, uh, I had, this succubus was a little younger, and I didn't know how to get, with her, get, get her out. That's when all this first started. And I waited three days for God to tell me something. And you know what he told me? He said, wait for her to come back. That's what he said. He said, wait for her to come back. And I did. When he said that, that was all I needed to hear. Okay? That was all I needed to hear. And when she came back, I destroyed her. Okay, and again now, uh, you know, God let me see. He let me see a lot of things that happens in the spiritual realm. Okay? And I'm just sharing with you some things that happened that I actually was able to see. Okay, so you probably noticed the, the image I had at the beginning of the video of this alien woman. I was just trying to give you some idea of what she looked like, except she wasn't green. She was like a pale gray with big dark eyes. Okay, but um, uh, they, they don't hardly ever uh, show themselves as they, as they really are because you probably wouldn't like them. And sometimes they will tell you, you wouldn't like me if you saw me as I really am. Okay, I've had one tell me, you know, if I showed you myself as I really, it would kill you. And it probably, and it would. Okay, some of them you can't stand and look at them. So don't think if you got a succubus or an incubus, don't think you got something good. You don't. Okay, everything has either a good spirit or an evil spirit. Succubus have an evil spirit. All right. So that's what I got for you today. Uh, if you still have still having problems with this, you and you can't get rid of one, this is the way you do it. You seek God first, and you uh, do what he tell you. If he tell you to fast, fast. And whatever kind of fast he give you, do that. And you got to get you some scriptures, okay, you got to get you some scriptures that will condemn these spirits. 
Okay, and don't give up until they are gone. All right. All right, I hope I said something to help you all. God still speak through visions and dreams. May God bless you all. And uh, we're going to be talking, making some more videos real soon here. All right. I will see you all. Thank you for listening.